Hey, Sparky the Fire Dog here, and I'm in Brockton, Mass, in an awesome fire station, and I'm joined today by Lieutenant Hendrigan, who's gonna show us his amazing fire engine. Hi, Sparky. Hey, how's it going? Very good. So, tell us a little more about the fire engine. Well, right now, we're standing in front of Engine Company 5. Okay. Do you know what an engine company is? Uh, it carries water, right? It absolutely does, and water puts out what? Fire! Absolutely. It also does many other jobs. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, we can we have medical equipment on board that help people that get hurt or sick. Ah, they're good for lots of purposes. They sure are. Cool. Show me. Let's go take a look. All right. So, Sparky, what uh -huh. do you think of my pump panel? Oh, I love pump panels. Do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for the, it's for the firefighter. He uses the fire driver. That's right, the driver comes here at a fire mm -hmm. to make sure that there's enough water going through the hoses to the firefighters that are fighting the fire. To help put it out. It's a very important job. Uh huh. We also have this right here, where the driver can hook this to a fire hydrant. Do you know what that is? Yep, I fire bet you do. are my favorite thing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's how we get all our water. Oh, hey, so uh, firefighter Rob, what are we looking at now? Well, right here is a tool that firefighters use Sometimes when people get in car accidents, mm -hmm. they're trapped in their car. This tool comes in really handy. It's commonly known as the jaws of life. You may ah, have seen it on TV. Jaws of life. Sometimes we have to cut open a car. Mm -hmm. Other times maybe we have to spread open a door to pop it open oh, to get the person out safely. That's pretty good. You want to take a look? Yeah, let's do it. There's the jaws of life. It's very heavy. Wow, look at that. That's cool. awesome. Very heavy. You gotta know how to use it. Mm -hmm. It's not for kids. Ah, okay. <laughs> what about Dalmatians? Well, some Dalmatians. Ah. Maybe one that I know. Ha <laughs> ha! I think he's talking about me. Hey, so this is one of my favorite sides of the fire truck. You wanna show everybody what's behind door number two? Absolutely. All if you right. take a look over here, Inside, big unveil. inside door number two, Ooh. we have a couple of different types of fire extinguishers. Mm -hmm. As well as the driver keeps his air pack here. Oh, nice. That's so you can breathe, right? Inside a fire, it's pretty difficult to breathe without that tank. Hey, so, uh, Firefighter Rob, where are we now? Well, Sparky, right now we're inside Engine Company 5. Oh. This is where the driver sits. Nice. Does he control the lights, too? He controls the lights, the siren, the horn. Oh, is that it, the horn up there? This is it right here. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. And uh, who sits in the back? Well, in the back, there's one or two firefighters, and there's plenty of room back there so they can get ready on the way to a fire. Ooh, awesome. And what do they carry when they go into a fire? Well, if they're going to a fire, they might carry an axe. They might carry a hook. They're definitely going to carry a hose, though. Oh, got to love hoses. Wow. Thank you, Lieutenant Hendrigan. That was an amazing tour of your fire engine. You're very welcome, Sparky. Man, I just love all the radios and all the information. That's all for your safety. Yeah, so what's your favorite part of the fire engine? Well, I like putting out the fires.